your cast. Good morning, everybody. We have some changes on the way here at Eyewitness News. I want to introduce our new weather team. Here is a picture of the new weather team taking over starting today. Obviously, I'm just kidding. This is Pack 183 from Warwick. They paid me a visit yesterday and a lot of good questions from these uh, kids. We even had them play in front of the weather wall. So who knows, maybe in the future we have some uh, meteorologists here. But thanks for their visit. And we move on here to uh, current conditions over the city of Providence. We have some hazy sunshine and some flies pestering the city cam. Get away, fly. Shoo, fly, shoo. I don't know if they're listening to me. 77 is your temperature right now in Providence. Winds out of the west at 6 miles an hour. You will notice it's a little stickier out there compared to what we had yesterday. The dew point is at 64 degrees. When we have dew points in the 60s, that does feel a tad sticky. Now, I do expect to drop the dew points a few degrees as we go throughout the afternoon to around 61 on average. The coast will be a little more humid than that. So that's still sticky. You'll notice the difference from yesterday. It's muggier than yesterday for sure. And then on Monday and Tuesday, we drop the humidity back to more comfortable levels as we bring in some slightly cooler temperatures. In the meantime, live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing any precipitation, so we move on to current temperatures. 77 right now in Smithfield, 77 Taunton, 79 already in New Bedford, 75 in Wesley, so warming things very quickly today. Satellite picture showing clear skies overhead for the most part. A few clouds out here in western New England. There's a cold front stall just off to our east that may spark off a few afternoon or evening thunderstorms. We'll have another piece of energy and it'll kind of ride along the front like a railroad track. Use it like a track, I should say. So that's the situation for today where it's not a washout, but the chance of a few isolated storms will be there. We start the clock here at 8 o'clock in the morning. By the time we get into, say, 3 or 4 o'clock, the chance of a few showers and storms and the threat will be with us into the dinner time hours, 7, 8 p.m. After that, the threat gets reduced substantially. There may be an additional shower to out towards eastern Massachusetts or the Cape, but I think by this point, we have mostly dried things out if we get any rain at all. Again, I think most neighborhoods do not see anything at all today. Despite that, a slight chance of a strong thunderstorm. Look at these temperatures, mostly sunny by noontime, 88 degrees, 91 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That is very similar to yesterday where we had temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 but because it's a little more humid, it's going to feel a little warmer. Pretty warm here in southwestern Rhode Island, even down to the coast, westerly 89, Charlestown 87 degrees. We'll have some winds coming in from the west and then gradually bending around to the southwest for places like Newport and Jamestown by the afternoon. That's why I have slightly reduced the temperatures in this region, but still pretty warm there. 91 your high temperature in Coventry. For northern Rhode Island, temperatures also in the 90s, 90 in Foster, 91 Situate, Johnson 91 degrees. There may be a few spots which don't quite make it to 90 degrees today. Winds similar to yesterday out of the west at around uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour. We could see some gusts up to 20 miles an hour. For eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the 90s for the most part. 91 Taunton, New Bedford 91 degrees. Middletown at 86, Little Compton 85. Seekonk gets up to 91. A warm, kind of stickier day at the beach. It's going to make you want to jump right in the water. Temperature again in the mid 80s. Safe sun time, relatively short between about 10 and 13 minutes. So definitely bring along the sunscreen. Tomorrow is not a washout either, despite the fact I have put some raindrops on the screen there. 86 your high temperature. On Tuesday, we're at 86 degrees, a little less humid, a little cooler. Then on Wednesday, the chance of some scattered thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening. I didn't want to put those raindrops in there for the fourth, but I had to. It does look like at least yeah. a decent chance, but I'm not anticipating a washout. Of course, stay tuned for future changes. TJ and I will be here all week updating you on that big 4th of July forecast, but hopefully we can squeeze out plenty of dry time on the 4th of July. And look at that, a pretty hot week in, in order for us. Yeah, overall, pretty warm yeah. temperatures, you know, in the mid 80s for most of the time. So, hey, it's summertime, it's the 4th, <laughs> you know, that's the weather we like. All righty, thank you, Pete. Yeah. Now for a look at what's happening out there this weekend. WPRI.com reporter Melissa Sardelli has her eye on Rhode Island. If you're a parent or parent-to-be, today's your last